What's he that wishes so? My cousin Westmoreland? No, my fair cousin. If we're marked to die, we're enough to do our country loss. And if to live, the fewer men, the greater share of honour. God's will, I pray thee, wish not one man more. I am not covetous for gold, nor care I who doth feed upon my cost. It yearns me not if men my garments wear. Such outward things dwell not in my desires. But if it be a sin to covet honour, I am the most offending soul alive. No, faith, my cuz, wish not a man from England. I would not lose so great an honour, as one man more, methinks, would share from me for the best hope I have. Oh, do not wish one more. Rather proclaim it, Westmoreland, through my host, that he which hath no stomach to this fight, let him depart. His passport shall be made, and crowns for convoy put into his purse. We would not die in that man's company that fears his fellowship to die with us. This day is called the Feast of Crispian. He that outlives this day and comes safe home will stand a tiptoe when this day is named and rouse him at the name of Crispian. He that sees this day and lives to old age will yearly, on the vigil, feast his neighbours and say, tomorrow is St. Crispian's day. Old men forget, yet all shall be forgot, but he'll remember, with advantages, what feats he did that day. Then will our names, familiar in his mouth as household words, Harry the King, Bedford and Exeter, Warwick and Talbot, Salisbury and Gloucester, be in their flowing cups freshly remembered. This day shall the good man teach his son, and Crispin Crispian shall ne'er go by from this day to the ending of the world. But we in it shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. For he today that sheds his blood with me shall be my brother, be he ne'er so vile. This day shall gentle his condition. And gentlemen in England, now abed, shall think themselves accursed, they were not here, and hold their manhoods cheap, whilst any speaks at fought with us upon St. Crispin's Day. <laughs>